I cannot believe I'm about to put this on the internet, but we're doing it. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet, but basically I need to pull myself together for book club later this evening, but I do have to run errands before it. So a part of this is me wanting to show absolute full transparency on my channel. This is also me challenging myself to stick to my upload rather than perfection and just show you what it is like for me in my life. And I, full disclosure, I'm in a Dilly Bar stained hoodie that I've probably worn three times this week. It is noon on a Saturday and I'm worn out from work. But what's killing me today is we tried a new restaurant last night and it's not giving health. Do you know what I mean? We won't go into detail. I won't shame the restaurant. It was delicious, but it didn't sit well. So I have already had a full coffee from a new little mom and pop place. And now I'm working on a Coke Zero and some water. And we're going to do the whole shebang. I'm going to share with you hair, makeup, skin prep, and outfit. Because I do want to look cute but still be comfortable. Because one, my makeup has to last all day. Because... Book club is not until five and we usually yap until late into the evening. And also I want to be comfortable because we're just, we're just hanging out, chilling. And I also have to run a few errands. So errand clothing it is, and we're going to dive in. I, I am a fright, but welcome to my life. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to show you the hoodie for full transparency, but it's hot with the natural light, the lights, and my door shut to film. So that's not gonna last. I'm gonna add rings so that I feel a little fancy. I haven't taken this off in two weeks. <laughs> the first thing I do want to do is get some dry shampoo in my hair because if you have, look what's been happening to this. Sorry, side note. This has been happening to my Orbe, which really annoys me because it is very expensive. However, I don't use it enough to be mad and I just stick my finger on this base part here and it's fine and it sprays fine, but it is annoying. Anyways, I forgot my train of thought, but what I like to do, shake it up really good and then I might be silent for this because I don't know how loud this, the spritz is gonna be, but I hold my hair up. And then I like to kind of part where I think I'm going to part and hit the back. And don't tell me that I use a lot. I probably do. I know I do. I can like feel it on my scalp, but I need a lot of help. I get quite greasy. Also, I only use sham dry shampoo on days like this where I like just can't seem to get it together. And actually, I'm going to just lightly pull this back. Nice armpit shot for you. And I'm gonna pop this in because what I like to do with my dry shampoo, especially this one, is after a couple minutes, you'll start to see like a white powdery develop, white powdery substance, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like a film is gonna start to develop because this does have a lot of like white cast in it, but I'm gonna work that out with a brush in a minute and I just wanna keep everything out of my hair, give that a chance to like really soak up oil. And now it's time to replenish my face because I'm having, oh, I'm having like breakouts, small ones, and they're not like my typical hormonal breakouts. And it's a thousand percent because if you've been watching Get Ready With Me, then you know that it has been a hard couple of months and I feel like this week I've I'm like this close to being out of the hole that I got thrown into I, I've caught up at work I'm almost caught up on housework I'm probably going to finish that tomorrow and we have some really cool nightstands we're putting together that's going to help organization tremendously and I'm hoping to film maybe two videos today and we're just catching up on life so that said, I have not been as regimented in my skincare and that's not great. I just used the Fit Glow C Ceramide. And I'm going in with Phytosurgence. I think we're just gonna chat 
And I'll recap at the end and list and link to what I can below. Oh yeah, I already feel like a new person. I fully intend on doing the video, what I do on down days, or like what's my strategy for down days, because we are going to reignite the beauty strategy for sure. But I need to get these year end roundups done. And I'll be honest, I've been kind of putting them off. Obviously last week, <laughs> I think because I was so focused on work and catching back up on life that I just couldn't fathom putting myself through a year end roundup again. <laughs> and that's why you got what you got, which was hysterical. We had to get ready with me. And then what's in my bag, which that went up yesterday when I'm filming this. And so far the comments have been so fun. Like everyone's here for old school YouTube. Thank goodness because me too. But I was not, I don't know, coherence, not the right word. I was just editing. That was so painful because I couldn't think of words like brain fog was real. I think because my brain was just tired that there was like, okay, my husband just got home from a hike and Frank was losing it. So he's with my husband now. What I was saying is there were like three second pauses in between words and thank you for bearing through those. Hopefully that's not the case today. There's like a bunch of topics I want to cover, but I am actually going to light a candle now that Frank's not in my office. I try to be careful about that. I'm ordering a candle warmer. I'm so happy that those are like back in because they're good, but I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with, I'm going to burn the Lucky Candle Co., forest berry it's been teasing me because i have burned it twice i know bad candle person but there's a hack if you didn't know just put tin foil over that part and it'll trap the heat and even out your candle again side note but what i was saying is it's been taunting me because even before i burned it and especially after i burned it the two times this sits in the middle of my credenza, and when I'm sitting in my chair off camera over here, I can smell the throw of this unlit. And I just really want to set the mood because I'm, right now, we're trying to trick ourselves into being real people, you know? That, what, what do they say about, like, romanticize your life? That's what we're doing today. I'll even put it here so you can see it. And I've been so neglectful to this poor aloe. We're going to have to, it has new growth, but we're going to have to bring that back to life. Anyways, I've got my moisturizer on. I'm going to let that sink for a minute. While we do that, I do want to bring something up, which is TikTok. I know that I've been down for a while and my mental health is struggling if I'm on TikTok. That's when I've run out of things to keep my attention. And I go to TikTok for new because, gosh, your For You page can go forever and it's always new. Anyways, I have been on it quite a bit lately. And while I have learned really cool things, I have a lot to say about it. One, I'm not a fan of short form content. And if you want to know my thoughts on that, maybe we'll do a whole video. Or like dedicate more time because I don't in this video. But... The drama that got unleashed in beauty TikTok is just like, we've been here before, but also it is nowhere near where we've been with like the darker themes. And I just like, honestly, who cares? But why I bring it up on my channel is I hope you know that I'm never going to say I like something when I don't. I'm always going to be transparent. And more importantly, I've recently started utilizing Amazon affiliate links, and I always call that out in my description box. I always asterisk any links that are affiliate codes. The commission on those, to be very transparent, is very low. So if you do choose to shop those, it does help. But don't think that I'm over here becoming a millionaire and like pushing things that I don't actually use. I know that Amazon's the devil or whatever, but like sometimes there's a trade off for convenience in your life you know, that's healthy. But anyway, I'm always going to be transparent about it. I also kind of wanted to get your input on that because if it's something that is not perceived well, or if that 
does impact how you trust me. I want to be able to make the decision not to use them. But also in transparency, this is not my full-time job. I do have a full-time job. I'm very lucky that it provides for my life. But I do want to grow my channel into something that could take potentially time away from that. And if it were ever to do that, it has to provide some kind of income. Also, I want to invest that money not towards more products because I, looking at the sheer amount that some people have in their collection, which is no shade to them at all, it just gives me anxiety because I can't handle clutter and things like clear space, clear mind is me. I'm a, I'm a Virgo son and I have anxiety. So that's never going to be me. So it's not going to go towards products. I want it to go towards an actual legit camera potentially even better lighting setup and then a new computer that's the goal so just know that all that money is not going towards anything real crazy it's going towards bettering my channel because honestly the best I could ever hope for is for this to be a, a self-sustaining hobby for me in the way that not saying that I'm going to go out and buy everything, but I can buy things that you want me to review or the things that I deem worthy enough to bring into my collection and keep sharing kind of my experience with products and brands and my fashion experience. Fashion is like so expensive to get into. And that brings me into my next topic, which actually knowing that I need to be comfortable today, I'm going to go in with Chantecai Future Skin Gel Oil Free Foundation because this will continue to hydrate my skin throughout the day. It lasts pretty well on my skin and I don't like 10, 12 hours into where it's still not drying out on my skin. So that's what we're going to go in with today. And I feel like I applied a lot. I don't know what this video is. I, at first I was like, I could do instructional, but honestly, I just... I'm trying to bring myself out of just wanting to sit in my chair and do nothing <laughs> because I'm going to book club. I have to take a, a like an appetizer and usually I'm like super into that and I like making something from scratch and I just don't think I'm there today. I really don't think I'm there today. I applied so much, but what I love about this is even when you over apply, if you just keep blending, it sinks into the skin but also if you ever do this rub it on the back of your hand to get some of the excess off of the brush and then it'll help you kind of distribute it a little bit better i haven't used this foundation in a while because i love the nars as i've said a few times but i also really like the rare beauty to the moisture moisturizer that we used in the last video and I just, it's cold, it's dry, and I want it to moisturize all day. Also, that would be a good place to tell you that I'm on pretty much a no-buy for at least the next month, so like mid-February, and then it's going to be a very low buy for the first half of this year because I did kind of overhaul my wardrobe in a lot of categories. You just saw the purses and bags that I got out of necessity. Not like I would die without them, but like function necessity, organization necessity. I also, I just spend most of my budget in the fall and I just need a minute to like detox financially from that. And also really focus on saving up for that new computer because I'm so ready to up my editing game. And right now I'm editing on an iPad and it just, it really limits what you can do, which is the pits. But yeah, it's going to be slim pickings over here. Although I will say I did pick up not every shade, but I think like six or seven of the 10 shades from the Seeking Shifts Shine by SD Cosmetics collab and wow 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 you know that this is a seeking shifts fan account <laughs> and she she knocked it out of the park it's absolutely beautiful if you have not looked 
I will link actually she's on YouTube now and she did like a swatch video and described like how she came up with the colors. If anyone were to do a duochrome collaboration, seeking shifts. Yeah, she she has had so much experience in different formulas, different color combinations, and I would trust her with my whole heart. So I'm very excited to get those in. One of the shades I was the most excited about, which is Fogbow, I think, was already sold out by the time I went to order. But they're doing automatic pre-sale for all the shades in the bundle, so you can still do that. You just might have to wait a little bit longer. But the one shade, it's something dog. I'll pop the shade name on the screen. It is like a one and done opal eye of my absolute fantasies. And I cannot wait to get that in. That's probably gonna be the first look that I do as soon as that gets to my house and I unbox it, I'm telling you. So if you didn't get a chance, go check that out. Go check her YouTube channel out. I would subscribe. She's gonna, I cannot wait. I hope that we get more long form content from her because I just love her. She's also very sweet. All right, because I wanna stay hydrated all day, I am just only going to set around my nose and my eyes because I want everything to just stay hydrating. But the next thing, next up, I wanna talk about is Valentino in this. First of all, if you would like me to ever do videos on reviewing fashion weeks or maybe even like what the fashion world is talking about and my commentary on it, I think that would be so much fun. And I have I have hot takes. If you're new here, hi, I worked in the fashion industry for almost a decade. I have a degree in fashion design and merchandising. And I've been a lover since I was a, a wee tot. So anyway, Valentino is in the news because one of the models who's been in the industry, I think they said something crazy like 40 years or something, tripped and fell, tried to correct herself, fell again, and then eventually got so frustrated she just took the shoes off. And you see when she stands up to walk that she's like not even walking well. And I have, there's a lot of theories going on out there, but I think that this is like a good time to bring up what I want to bring up, which is, I saw an article, I think, somewhere, and it actually, oh, I have something new I want to try while we talk about this. Beauty Pie brought back the contour wand. I've been waiting for over a year since I signed up for this to come back in stock, this is kind of the brother-sister product to their Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. And, oh my gosh, the packaging is like soft matte. It's not soft touch, but it's matte, and it's stunning. It's the same shape as the luminizer, but it's, I'm hoping, the dupe that I've been looking for because I've been super tempted to pick up Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I did wear that on my wedding, and I used it in that era of life, and I loved it. I just don't want to pay $40 for it. And I just on principle feel like Charlotte Tilbury as a whole is overhyped and I don't feel like giving her my money, to be honest. Um, these are, I th it's definitely under $20. I think it might be 13, 15. I'll maybe pop on the screen, but I'm, I'm very excited to try this. And I know that this is dangerous what I'm doing, but I'm going to apply assuming that it blends the same way as the Charlotte Tilbury, or at least, the very least, the same as the Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. These baby hairs are full on ridiculous, especially because these ones have been like curling on me. Yeah, that blends really nice. Even with this brush, which is like, I feel like I would typically use a larger, denser brush. Am I snatched? I like it. I think I could even apply more without it looking crazy. Anyway, back to Valentino. The perfect time to bring up the conversation that, ooh, looking in my mirror over here, I'm like snatched. I don't think I need more. I'm getting so sidetracked. It just feels like so fun to sit down and chat with my friends, you know? Anyway, that was probably a lot. 
Okay, the conversation that I would like to bring to the table is a lot of people are saying that they're not surprised because luxury shoes, specifically heels from these houses like Valentino, YSL, all of that are not comfortable. And let me tell you, I've tried on some of these. I own red bottoms because that's been my dream since, God, like 2010. And I bet the bullet and I got them for my wedding and I'll tell you guys when they swiped my card for the shoes even though I had saved up for years for those shoes like actual years and I was not I was not making very much money at all at the time I immediately had a panic attack and like wanted them to like cancel the transaction because I was in the store in New York that could be a story time when I bought my first red bottoms let me know but anyway were they doable for that event? Yes. Are they comfortable? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Most of those brands are making shoes. You could argue high quality material, but I, I could go on a tangent about that, honestly. Some, yes. Some, absolutely not. But they're not making it for comfort. They're making it for show. And it's very obvious in the comfort of the shoe, especially if you are not someone who has petite feet or who is not just kind of petite overall, you know, because that does, that does make a difference, unfortunately. And well, duh, you're like balancing on a stiletto. Anyway, what I think about that is no, they, they're not doing it for comfort. They're doing it for looks, but here's my, my hang up and my beef that I have. And I read this article and it made a valid point and it put me down a rabbit hole. Technology in high heels specifically, but more so just in the fashion shoe category, things that look nice. And feel free to debate this in the comments because if you have brands that have done what I'm about to say, I'm, I'm into looking into it. And I do think there are comfort brands, but think about like heels and kind of like dressy fashion shoes. We have advanced so much in technology, specifically in clothing manufacturing and accessory manufacturing. And you see this advancement all the time in sneakers. And obviously it behooves those companies to do that because athletes are always looking for ways to improve themselves, their gear, and their overall output as an athlete. But if we've come this far in technology... Why have we not touched the cast of a heel in like decades and decades? Not even just like a couple decades, like it's been a very long time. And I'm going to show you what I mean by the cast of the shoe. Basically, the angle at which heels are putting your foot, where the weight is distributed, the overall shape, the width of the toe box, all of that, which granted the width of the toe box can be different all of this can be different based on like what the design is. And some shoes are never meant to be practical, comfortable shoes. They're art. I usher in or I I bring to the jury Alexander McQueen hoof shoes. Like those might actually be comfortable because they are platform, but you get what I'm saying. Like that's art. However, why is this not being discussed on a more global scale? And why are we not developing more comfortable shoes? Because I do think that's probably part of the problem at the fashion show. Some people were saying that they had insider knowledge that the brand wasn't making sure that the models had the right size. And I will tell you from experience being a designer in a show that you have been working your absolute fanny off. And you have to think even as like these larger at ateliers and houses, like they're still working their ass off, excuse me, but emphasis needed. They're working their butt off to get everything to that finish line for the show. And sometimes things happen and you do whatever you have to to get something down the runway. I had to take a hammer to one of my favorite pieces to this day. Maybe I'll pop it on the screen. I had to take a hammer to the grommets on the back of that because of the fabric that I used. And I had to do whatever I had to do to make sure that it didn't fall off while it was walking down the runway as part of my final project for the semester. 
you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So I don't necessarily fault them for that. I'm more so focusing on like the root of the issue, which is like heels in general are not comfortable. And I know there's companies like, I forget the name, whatever the company is that makes the heels where you can like slide the heel off the back and it turns into a flat, like, yeah, okay, cool. But what I'm talking about are like those dynamite heels that you want that literally are comfortable, which I think there's going to be some discomfort for heels in general, but the cast of the foot is mainly what I'm focusing on. So silly. So if you do know brands that are fighting against that and trying to bring technology in, please let me know because we need them to blow up in order for these larger houses to like take notice and want to do the same. But yeah. Let me know if you saw that whole Valentino thing in the news, what you think. Is there a conspiracy or is it a mixture of things? Because I think it's a mixture of things and some of those we can probably be a force to fix. We all come together in the name of changing the saying of beauty is pain because that's like just ridiculous it's ridiculous i already feel like kind of a new woman just with like the base done i am going to use my mango sunshine because i feel like i just need to overall refresh and the scent low feet you can't even see the candle if you're a candle connoisseur please check out my friend sam at lucky candle co she does it with her sister and they're so good. I mean, I smell mango sunshine right now, but he's goo. Let's get into the eyebrows and then we can get into making decisions about eyes because I do want this to be a low key look, even though I just snatched my face down with contour. <laughs> I wanted to try that and I do really like it. It is serving its dupe-esque purchase, which I don't have strong feelings on duping because I think I have my own definition of a dupe. And also, I've been watching TikTok too much because all I want to say is zoop. Because there's these hilarious girls that go into Target and make up like absolutely ridiculous dupes. And it's so funny. Actually, in the spirit of just dabbling a little bit today, I'm going to go in with the Lip Tinted Hue Brow. And then we're going to do pencil over top of it because that's how I keep meaning to try this. And I always forget. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with the short bristle side. And maybe a little bit of the flat just in the front part of my brow. And then the long bristle side. I'm not looking for super fluffy. I just want to see how they do. Yeah. Flat, oh, 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 that was a lot. And then long. That's the ticket is you have to do the long right after because it does help with some of that clumping. Lip Tinted's killing it. I just am not interested in their sticks, so I hope they continue to come out with new things. Okay, while that dries, let's talk about decisions that we want to make. I pulled the Mario nude quads one because that is my go-to it's like a very i don't have to think about it there's only four shades i end up using all four and i like the way it looks or we can do the makeup by mario at the eyes palette i have no idea what's going on with this palette but i will say i'm glad i have it and i really liked mixing those two mattes the other day that was like a really easy look one and done and then a little bit of a sheen or do i want to just say Go for it and play around with Glaminatrix. I still owe you a video on this. Very behind in videos. I'm going to wait and we'll do this maybe this week. If I can get those yearly, yearly things done. I'm going to be wearing black, like a black set. A turtleneck, leggings, and a taupe kind of over sweater. Over sweater. Cardigan. So... I think I'm going to do, you guys don't come for me, I'm going to do a very similar look to what we just did in that Get Ready With Me, but I'm going to keep it matte, and I'm going to do as big of lashes as I can and, like, even go the extra mile and curl them because now that I've invested into putting myself together, we're going full stop. So I'm going to end up mixing 
this pink here with this taupe here. I don't even know if that's what I did last time. Could very well not be. No, you know what? I mixed this taupe with this peach. And maybe what I want to do is mix these two taupes. This one is just a tinge pinker in undertone or like red in undertone. So I'm just gonna dip into both of those. Also a little darker. Let me just swatch. That's what it would come out as. I don't think I want to go that dark. That second swatch is what I did last time and that's what we're doing. Sorry if I bore you, but can't be bothered. Ooh, next topic. Is anybody a Love Island fan here? And if so, are you watching the current season? Let me tell you, I'm legit using a VPN and I faked a postal code to watch on IT, ITV. Is it ITV or ITTV? Let me know. I know I have some UK subscribers, so if you're watching this, are you watching Love Island and how do you say the network? They say it on the show, I just can't remember. Anyway, I'm invested. The first few episodes, I was like, meh, boring. But I'll be honest, I feel that way about almost every season that I've watched. And I've watched every season except for one and two, which I feel like I need to go back and watch. But it's boring, and then you start to get to know people better. And then they start to have, like... It's not even the drama, although... If the drama is good, it's good, but it's more so like people's true colors come out. I think one, they're nervous because they're just getting on television and there's cameras everywhere, like even in the bathroom. But I think they get comfortable, number one, but then also if they thought that they could come in and play like a character trope to like get as far as they can, I feel like it starts to go out the window because bringing in new people... And all of that is just like utter chaos in the villa. <laughs> it's so interesting to watch. Like the people who I thought I would like this season and who I thought I would not like has already completely changed. So let me know if you watch and maybe we can have further discussion. But it's giving me life. Also, RuPaul's Drag Race season 15, which is wild that it's season 15, is currently on. And... It's giving me life, although I think because I do like the queens that are on, but I think because I I just haven't really connected with anyone or been like super inspired by anyone's look yet, I guess we haven't seen anyone super original. Please don't hate me for that. I'm still waiting for people to kind of like do their thing, but I really love Lucy LaDuca and Anteria, which I know that Antira. I know that a lot of people are going to be like, everybody does. I do. They're, they're my top two right now. Today, in the spirit of being extra and pulling myself together, I'm going to try this beauty pie lash curler and I saw that you should do the tip first from Erin Parsons makeup and I trust her because she has so much knowledge and experience if you're not following her on Instagram highly recommend it she does have a YouTube channel and her studio um tour is insane I wish she would do more long form content can you tell a difference she says to start at the tip Curl that and then work your way back to the lash. So this is the curled eye. Difference? Also have very blonde eyelashes. I can definitely see a difference. I'm going to do more. I think I crunched them a little bit. All right. I always talk about content in these Get Ready With Me's, but it's kind of my way to clue you in on like where my thought process is. I think I am going to be in the mood to film after this. And we can knock out best of skincare and body care and then tomorrow maybe I'll film my fashion recap but there's also a really exciting one that I want to do which is I didn't know this 
But apparently, oh Lord, apparently Pinterest publishes a trend report of what they think is going to be trending that year. And they have um, published that for 2023. And they said that 80% of their predictions last year were accurate. Which, that's pretty good, you know? And they do have the data. I mean, they can obviously run the numbers on, like, what everyone is searching, what seems to be trending in an upward trajectory. And I just think it's going to be fun. I know not everyone uses Pinterest, but I do. I do use Pinterest for certain things, absolutely. And it's not all chuggy and basic like they'll have you believe there's some really cool stuff on there you just have to use the algorithm to your advantage and build the kind of content that you're interested in i feel like curling them did something but then i clumped that lash i have to bust out i have a mascara brush that looks like a little fan and it does do a fantastic job we might start using that on my channel but anyway i do want to sit down and talk about the trends because some of them are very interesting and some of them I could not be more excited for. Like if you enjoy the same things as me, and I'll give you a hint, most notably rich lady showers, you're gonna be so pumped at the trends. They're good. Some of them questionable, but I'm also not in the demographic age-wise of being super cool and super on trend and that's not what that video is about we'll get into trends in that video but yeah cool stuff coming up and then i promise i'll get to the stuff that we've talked about i know a few of you want to see the glaminatrix palette i definitely want to do that because i think i just saw that they're doing pre-orders again for that and also 100th video is coming up which is so wild i haven't even been on youtube a year and i'm almost to my 100th video so I have something spatial planned. How does it look? She got curly lashes. I don't know if I like it on me, <laughs> to be honest. But I did get some on my eyelid here. I know it's boring, but I just really like that color. It's pretty much rustic beige from Athleta and that's the sweater that I'm gonna wear. Okay, I think we're dry enough to go in with brows. But yeah, Hunter's video, that's wild. We're also at like 770 people here, which is super wild. I would absolutely die if we hit 1,000 before the year, which is I think May, just because I, I didn't have strong goals and I had no thought or feeling about how that would go. And I was just praying that like I could hit maybe 100, you know? which is crazy that we're here now. So thank you. I say it all the time, but thank you for being here. It really does mean a lot. And I hope that this is a video that you can come back to on days where you really need to get yourself pumped up for the day and get ready. I do think I really need to trim the hair in my brows. I do think I really like that gel when you put it down first because they stay very groomed with that gel. Do we run a little bit of gel through it? I'm actually, yeah, let's try that for science. Okay, let's try for science, like just a tiny bit on the outer part where my brow looks sparse compared to this like thick clump of hair. Honestly, that partly could be because this is running low. I don't see how this couldn't be running low because I've used it nonstop since I got it. Yeah, a little better. Overall, I do like it with just the pencil and that, especially if I were to trim up my brows. I'm gonna go in with Divine Daylight. If you knew how much I like run the brush into it. Pow, 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 pow. And I do really like this brush with it, the Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes 03, because it is dual fiber with different lengths and you can really kind of like lightly buff because that's the key to not picking up anything so i like to tap it down first i am going to tap it up into here i'm going to pick up a little bit more 
And I'm not applying pressure at all to this pan. I'm just swirling, swirling, swirling. And then I'll start to buff lightly, very lightly. No pressure really. I'm just letting the bristles kind of work it onto the skin. Blur me up, Scotty. Look at that. Can you see it? the diffused light? I'm very shiny over here. Now watch the magic. Go in for a little bit more. Look at that. Diffused. Also, if you're looking at pictures where this looks blinding, it's because they're in the exact perfect lighting. I'm never going to be, so again, transparency. You do have to finesse this product quite a bit to get the hang of it, but then once you do, it's lovely. Okay, this has really turned into like kind of a catch-all video. I need more blush. I'm using my Favy Fave condensate because why would I use anything else? Okay, I feel lovely. I'm gonna add this because I am trying to stay hydrated today with every part of my being. Lips. Fit Glow Lip Liner Nude. The Goat. All right, I'm gonna go with Nana from Westman Atelier. Nana or Nana, depends on what part of the country you're in. And I'm gonna pop this and the lip liner in my purse. It's time to tackle the hair. And hopefully I sprayed enough, which is probably a joke to some of you. I wanna see. Yeah, can you see some of the powderiness that built up? We are first gonna work that in with our hands. Can't believe I'm putting my arms on the internet to bear. Okay, work that in, but then there's still gonna be a lot. So what I like to do, this is probably, it's not the worst, but it's not the cleanest. This is a Mason Pearson from London, England, nylon and Borbis bristle brush. These are pricey brushes, but everyone swears that they're the gold standard. And here's what I will say to that. They are. This is like the equivalent of the soft services buffing bar but for your scalp and it feels amazing but what i also really love it for is its ability to really kind of like work in dry shampoo and smooth the hair out and i love it for that so i'm gonna part where i'm going to part and we saw there was like quite a lot of build up so like right here if i take that and just like oh yeah feels good and brush it away it really does help blend that dry shampoo in and I am just gonna go I think I'm gonna go for a clip today and now listen I could use a lot more of that dry shampoo and it give me crazy volume but I really just wanted to kind of refresh my hair because I'm gonna take a rich lady shower tonight because it's been a hard week you know and I just wiggle the brush it also feels so good but what I was getting ready to say about this brush is, do you need it? No. Sally's and other, actually I might leave my hair down. I quite like that. I think I'm going to leave my hair down, but then pack this clip because I think it ties black and taupe together really well. And I'll have that. But what I was gonna say about this brush, you can get a nylon board bristle brush. Cost what this costs, I think. Probably with inflation now, this is probably around $100. However, this is a fabulous brush and I've had mine for four years now. And I clean it, I shampoo it. It is plastic, be aware of that. I thought it was gonna be fancier. It's pretty lightweight, uh, but it is balanced well and it's just like a traditional paddle brush. So know all those things going into it, but also know that I got mine at Costco. Everyone be sleeping on the Costco beauty section that's where Belief first debuted their jumbo sizes, and I got this for a lot less than I could find anywhere even with discount codes. So be on the lookout for that. 
but let's add some earrings. I'm gonna go with the ones that I can't get enough of lately, which is the oval Pavoy gold plated earrings. And then I'm gonna talk through my outfit because I'm going to get dressed and I'll show it in my full length mirror, which is another thing that I wanna start doing is like more outfits on my Instagram and more fashion content. So that's coming this year. But what I wanna share with you is I plan on wearing the Ascent turtleneck in black from Athleta. I love this line of tops. It has kind of like a design down the center, like little laser cut design. But what I love about them is they're so warm, but so lightweight and they just seem to regulate body temperature really well. So they're pricey. I think I got all of mine at least 30% off and took advantage of 20% off on the black because I thought I'd be a sneaky girl and she don't put the black on sale because they know everyone wants black. Anyway, I really love those turtlenecks. The pants are a salutation cargo legging, I think. Again, everything will be um, listed down below. I love these because the cargo pocket detailing is so in right now, especially with the youths. But beyond that, I feel like the cargo pocket makes them a little more polished on days where you're not working out and you just want to wear athleisure. It does make it look a little nicer. And I am pairing that with probably my favorite Athleta find, which these are, I think, like 100 to more dollars off right now. And it is a cashmere cardigan, but I am obsessed. The length is perfect. They have it in white, the rustic beige that I have on today, and then the black. <laughs> wow, can't believe I forgot that. Anyway, perfect length, has pockets, a very soft cashmere. It's not itchy, but my, I'm obsessed with the collar. It stands on its own and it, oh, it's so it's so pretty. And I just feel like this is me if I were a suburban stay-at-home fancy mom that just went to Pilates all day, picked up her kids in cute athleisure outfits like this. I'm very much so in that era right now. So that's what I'm wearing. I haven't quite figured out shoes, but I'll pop whatever that is up on the screen. It's probably, honestly, it's probably my Sorel pull-on sneakers that are waterproof because it has snowed outside. Yeah, that's my outfit. And this is my face. And I think we pulled it together. We talked about some fun stuff. I pulled it together, I'm hyped. I think I'm more than ready to sit down and film. End of year body care and skincare favorites. And I hopefully will see you in that one and that you're having a wonderful day. And we'll talk soon, bye.